Always does that shit. Yeah, we're streaming back. We're on the live on the pedal to the metal podcast. Want to give us the opener, man? Well, how we all doing that? You know, I do try to just give us a first free start on how we like to do things we like to do a dj session relax and talk and we got my boy we got a chick from good old middle school we yeah. know each other for like almost Jeez. 20 fucking years now um yeah. we like to do the shitty talk and whatnot and we still got a lot more memories that we should probably fucking tell each other and say fuck it <laughs> what's going on y'all how y'all doing and we also got Chad with that. I know him like half the time I know him, but yeah, what's going on, guys? What's up? How are y'all doing that? Uh, for good ladies, guys, we always like to entertain y'all. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's Sup. up? Sup. Vic, what's up, man? What's going on here? Um, like? good. Just, uh, good stuff. Viking. Having fun, hanging out with, uh, you know, with all my friends. You're going to the college. It's fun. Yeah. Any new la- ladies? Uh, any new ladies you've been seeing, or is it just Jake me and Jake just like relaxing, doing smoking, doesn't like, give a shit? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just smoking. Uh, you know, I got all my, uh, I got all my lady friends. It's nice. You know, it happens when it happens. Nice. I'll never forget. Ah, I feel like I shouldn't say it on here. <laughs> uh, was it something about Amber or something? <laughs> no, no, no. It was your, uh, first time doing it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Do that fucking phone over Danny's face. That's up to you if you want to tell that whole story. That's up to you, man. <laughs> yeah. That's how it real well, is. Let's be honest. All that really matters is that on the way back from her place, I popped my tire in a, in a fucking uh, huge pothole that was half the size of the road. And I thought it was the fucking, like, the shadow of a, a shrub. You know, and then uh, also all that matters is that I threw a uh, uh, a a a used condom at Danny Cartman's face, and now he's not my friend anymore. But you know, I think that's all all good. Danny, you know what, man? Shit just fucking happens for the fucking reason. And ever since he did that, Danny started being dick, texting me stupid shit. I don't even like say what he said, but. Danny's a complete asshole. Acts like he's fucking number one in the fucking group. When I was number one because I, I don't want to call me. I'll text him. Uh, but yeah, he. Hey, let's let's uh let's be res- yes. let's be respectful to people on the pod, man. And let's just be respectful to names, yeah. even though I don't I don't know I don't know this I don't know this person, but you know like. Sometimes people that are like mean, they're Shane going through stuff. Yeah, like. <laughs> okay, look. Shane look, I'm sorry. did a yeah. jackass move where you slapped him in the face with a poop bag. Yeah, I just it's straight the best slapped him with that. Put it. I just slapped him with that fire. And I saw this like. He's lucky it's not me because he knows I would have knocked him the fuck out. Yeah, well. 
you know, I was thinking, yeah, I probably should be putting on, uh, putting Danny on full blast. But then I was thinking about my other friend, Mike, like not you, Mike, but you know, the other Mike. And I know he would say, oh, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> uh, so. And sometimes that's just how you have to think. You just got to put someone on full blast because of the fuck. <laughs> You yeah, know, trust never... me. If you were me, if you were me, you would uh, you would agree. Dude, I remember like smoking weed in your room one time, and every time I just came over, you're like, "Fuck, what is this fucking smell? Fuck, what is this fucking smell?" Then you say you <laughs> found your own ass condom you fucked your bitch, your, your girl with. Like, wasn't that the smell or something? <laughs> No, damn, bro, I forget. I've been taking these AEDs, like anti seizure medicine, and it's making me like forget all this shit. Uh, like, do, do you know? Like, I was over, like, I'm Jake, and then there was another Jake that I know that I met at the college. I went to like a Halloween party at his place, and I remember I'm at this other Jake's place, and I'm like, oh man, look at her. She's really hot. Like, whatever costume she was in. And Jake's like, that's my mom. <laughs> what? Good. That is so funny. I didn't even remember that I said that until Mike was like, yeah, don't you remember that? I'm like, bro, I really don't. My that's brain is just mom? totally scrambled. Not my mom, but his mom, yeah. Uh, my other friend Jake's mom. So funny, so wrong, but it's also like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like I know who you're talking about. I, I don't remember the last name, though. I don't know. You might have hung with them. I forget. There's like a lot of J. There's a lot of J. So I might, you might be thinking of a different one. Oh, man. Yeah, we know a lot of people that shit. <laughs> we know a lot of fuck that shit growing up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. It is funny, though. Tell me at least you know the bus stories that we had. <laughs> the bus story? The bus stories are so funny. Like, <laughs> like the people that threw the fucking... <laughs> uh, threw the fucking shit off the bus. That is so funny, though. <laughs> you remember the lotion bombs? Yeah, taking the fucking paper... And fucking putting the lotion. <laughs> no, they were doing that. I remember I brought in that huge thing of lotion. Like we can keep going, guys. <laughs> yeah. What was my first real attention, famous? I mean, <laughs> what of was my the first one. attention? Of no, it was the first, first one. No, it was the third yeah, one. Mike, the... I miss. I never liked. I know, but it was the first time you threw the lotion bomb outside the thing that you got the detention. That's the fuck. Was it you or was it being that threw the fucking mega lotion bomb? Where they that like was me! That was I you! Oh, no. Mike, you threw the fucking lotion nuke at that car. <laughs> the thing I mean, bro! Uh, I know that shit must have been so annoying for the other people, but that, for everyone on the school bus, that was like <laughs> the funniest shit ever. Oh, and it was me, and it was me who did it, man. Because I was like, fuck you, you made me do that to your asshole. <laughs> of course, of course, like, and I ended up calling in the office on the big bike. Do you remember that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got... Yeah, they called you in the office. <laughs> Mike Mack to the office, please. Like, I'm <laughs> fucking... <laughs> huh? American! Oh, shit was so... American Mike, please report to the office. <laughs> yeah. That was literally yeah. me, man. And then I was like, you, you know you're gonna... Get because you did this and it's like yeah I realized that was bad even my dad died laughing though a little bit when I was like yeah I did this I did that he <laughs> was like laughing his ass off like you're a dumbass 
My son's in my deck. I can't remember his full fucking words, but he was laughing. And I was like, yeah, I had to take the blame. And I was like, fuck you, Dean. I should get you into trouble. Although, if I would have told Dean off, he wouldn't work graduation. And I would have like, shit, this is on me now. Fuck, I gotta take the whole thing, man. <laughs> Uh, so I was kind of, Whatever. So somebody is listening in. Yeah. Uh, somebody listening in here. I found it funny the whole lotion thing being thrown at a car. Did you see this person's face? Like, why did you choose this car to throw the lotion at? Was there a reason for it, or was there anything like? I don't behind... think there's any real reason. Yeah. I mean, just having fun. I mean, having fun being jackasses. <laughs> yeah, we're just having fun yeah. being jackasses. Yeah. Fuck them. That's why. Yeah. Okay, uh, we, yeah. we were being uh, jackasses. Uh, we were like the nice jackasses on our butts, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a three, it was a two or three day week in detention I had, and uh, it was at Lewis, and I remember seeing a couple of good old friends of mine, like they were like, "What did you do?" And they all laughed. <laughs> you were <an> idiot. <laughs> Although now I'm driving a car, I'm kind of like... Stay away from the buses. <laughs> why, why, why you want to be pissed? But it's yeah. so fucking worth the story to fucking tell, man. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, pissed it was me that would get hit by a Lucia bomb. I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> but, it, but it also it, it would be funny it, i mean honestly if you're driving if you're driving by a school bus and somebody throws some lotion at you you gotta kind of laugh a little bit because you know those kids are having a good time <laughs> it's like of course i'm the only man on the bus that gets caught by fucking doing it man uh, no, 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 sometimes some people got really mad when we did that. No. <laughs> and there was that guy yeah. that tried to, like, stop us in the thing, that tried to, like, put it, put his car in front of the bus, like, what the fuck are you kids doing? And, like, I remember he wanted to kick my ass, but all you guys, like, the, even the order class were like, no, no, it wasn't it, it wasn't him. And then, like, the bus driver was like, you know, I'm gonna have to look at this footage, guys, and see who did that lotion bomb. It's funny, yes, but he was like, whoever did it is gonna get in trouble. And then I remember talking to Dean after, and he was like, fuck, man, I'm not supposed to fucking come clean so you don't get in trouble for this fucking shit. It's my fucking junior sophomore. What was that? Junior sophomore year, Jake, you remember? I couldn't tell you. I mean, sounds like junior, I don't know. I think it was Gina, but I remember I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll see it. <laughs> and I took all the blame. Even though Dean kind of got in trouble. <laughs> and I think that's when we started smoking weed together, was after that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's when we started to smoke weed, Jake. Yeah, around then. Yeah, okay, you want to do a uh, half show when I was smoke a cigar quick? Uh, we can do that, yeah, if you want to take a little little DJ break. I'm DJ Chowick. We got American Mech and our famous Jake the Biker. I call you Jake the Biker. I don't know. It's like, you're the, you're the biker guy. You come on. Yeah. You talk. We, we might have to think. Jake yeah. the biker. When we come back, <laughs> when we come back from this break, we might have to go into some biking. Who knows where we'll go. J Mech, you come up with some ideas, okay? <laughs> Throw on some uh, music here right. for everybody. <laughs> Let's have some fun. <laughs> Never know what's going to come out of this thing.
Please restart. really restarting today you gotta plug this thing in. i'm using some batteries which causes this to happen sometimes ladies and gentlemen I can get reset this thing. It's just keep getting turned off of me when I'm in the groove here. Jake, uh, I kind of heard you said something. You gotta go. I'll be here on the pod. No, I'm gonna be on the podcast. Oh, weird. All right. Well, my DJ kept shutting down on the system. I'm sure Mech will be back any second now. Yeah. Uh, Okay. What? Yeah, I'm gonna have to plug it in next time. Every time, every I have it on some batteries right now in the in the system, and it it doesn't stay on with the batteries very well. But yo, know, Jake, uh, what's the latest game that you've been playing so far? Uh, not much. Just biking. I love biking. Yeah, man. You got a new bong or anything? Like, what's going on with you? I remember like our old piece that we spoke that was like a fuck. Oh, fucking bottle! I fucking finished, like, smoke out of. What do you got now? You got, like, an actual bottle? Or, like, what do you got right now? I used to. I used to. Mike got me one for, uh, for my birthday. Oh, but then I had a seizure when I was sleeping. And I left it out, like, behind the TV. And my mom saw it, and she threw it out. What a bitch. <laughs> Yo, you still got your fucking money that you saved up for your dog off and shit? Oh, yeah, I got a couple bills. Dude, here's what you do. Ask Mike to go drive to a fucking uh, oh, smoke know. shop. Then go, go oh, look oh, at get away from all that. the... Go look at all the bonds they got and then be like, I would like this, um... 
Fair enough, I think, but we and what they are talking about for secret uh, shit. Um, uh, bubblers and oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Not yeah. bonds, but like, what's bonds are called? Like, you remember the big shot one I had that was like here, so like. Oh no, that's huge. That one that Danny gave me, and I also had one that was glass. I want to buy that one again. That was like big money, dude. Yeah, yeah Mike, big remember, money. Uh, yeah, remember we were at Danny's house and he had the bubbler, and uh, like something came on on the TV. So, and everyone was like, what the fuck? And I remember like I turned around and I sl uh, and uh, and I what, wait was that the was that the bong or the bubbler that I slapped so hard that I broke it before it hit the ground? And then I got like a little scar of like uh on like the web of my thumb. Yeah. You know? I I don't remember yeah. the scar, but I remember like I broke a piece, and then you were pissed off about me because you said I broke it somehow when I fucking did it, and you had to punch me in the face. I don't remember that. Yeah, that. I think that must have been that must have been a different time. That was I don't think that was the same thing I'm talking about. You know what you know what though? Remember uh, remember we were at Danny's place and you know, remember like he had that nasty like it used to be clear that uh the fucking bubbler. But it was um, so disgusting with res that it was all black, so we put it in the fucking bag with the isopropyl alcohol. And then when we took it out we like, you know, rinsed it with some water, let it dry, and we're like, Okay, it's good. So we hit the bowl, and then as soon as the fire hit the bowl, it just shattered into a bunch of glass, and it was like, oh, don't breathe. Oh. Uh, that's crazy. Just, wait, this is at so Danny's place? This is at Danny's place? Yeah, it must have been at Danny's place, you know, a couple things. I, I, I don't think I was there, because I don't remember that one. My name's not a concussion, or I was working on a run, but I, I don't remember that. I don't know if you weren't there for that. It might have just been, uh, it might have just been me, Danny, and fuck. Uh, if it wasn't you, I don't know who else it was. Will? You remember Will? Yeah, it was. The it one that been, I used to drive with you guys all the time when we were fucking baked, and I'd drive you guys home when I was fucking baked, and I hated that road because I was baked. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was fucking Dude. fit. But yeah, it's just like, oh, you, made, you guys made, you and Danny made me drove there all the fucking time. I was like, okay, what? Yeah, I know, I get it. Guys. Well, you gotta, and I was, well, you just have to explain it. You have to explain it for the podcast, for the people where it's like, yeah, trying to get out of Will's fucking driveway is like, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's fucking improbable, bro. There's just a lot of scrap there, you know, and it? I'm all... And hey, I'm all about collecting scrap, but it's like, bro, trying to fucking get out of there is like fucking scary. A nightmare. Like yeah, and who did scary. it every fucking time? Who did it every time? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, Max face. He was like, wait. He's like, he's like, say, say my name, say my name. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is funny. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I just saw Max face. He's like, who did it? It's <laughs> true. Every time uh, I leave, and just like, mm. and it was a few times that when I was like dropping off Will, like getting guys like some alcohol, because like I was always an order one. You guys were like, can can we get some alcohol and shit like that? I still remember that. You guys were like. Yeah. Can we get some alcohol here? And you guys always want a Malibu for some fucking reason. I was like, whatever, just give me a few fucking drinks. I'm good. <laughs> and I'll just be chilling and talking and whatnot. And... I fucking hate that drive, but even though I had some drinks going down that. Yeah, so when I went that driveway, it was the shittiest fucking driveway I ever drove on. Yeah, but you just... needed some drinks to get out of that driveway. Not only that, but it's like it's such a long driveway too. And like, not like being a long driveway is a problem, but that's just like add, you know, fucking insult to injury. Um, 
being that shit was you crazy. think if we would uh wouldn't hang again when I'm down there I could probably make that move down there again if you want me to drive your car I'm going to take the risk like I always fucking do for some reason but yes I, I'd be willing to try there again yeah because uh yeah, well, I'd appreciate you helping, uh, helping the drive, you know, not really allowed to drive for at least six months because of the, uh, the seizures that I've been having. So, well, it's only a, only a couple seizures, only like three total. So it's like nothing too crazy. That oh, sucks. Man. Yeah, it does suck. And I was wondering like, damn, why am I having this? And then I find out like, oh, my dad's sister had like a uh, fucking like a bunch of seizures when she was, uh, Alive, I guess. Sorry. So that runs in the family, then. Yeah. Yeah. At least he got the good medicine and stuff to help out. Uh, man. And it always gets me while I'm sleeping, you know. Which I guess is better than being just standing up and then just like getting just like, you know, or just like biking and then just having a seizure and then just like fucking going right into the creek. He's in the creek. Yeah, we also want scary, to go around yeah. the, around here, just like keep taking your medicine. I got you on the dry sand, and I'm moving back soon. I'm moving back in like a year or two. It looks like so I'm yeah, gonna be living. Good. Yeah, well, that's good. You know, you know, come on over for a little bit. You know, for like the birthday thing. You know, we'll all have a big birthday blast. And then, uh, you know, next year, when you get your finances all together, you know, moving with Wayne. You know, or you know, or whatever is, uh, whatever is best for you. I'm moving back in like two or three years. I'm, I'm planning on take, saving like three or four grand. And then I'm moving down there. He's buying a place in a couple of years, he said. And he's like, I want you to be my roommate, but I want you to have the same price that I did back when I was living with Jeff. And I was like, you know what? That's okay with me. And then, yeah, we kind of just agreed. Uh, well, yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty cool because I'm like you like my friends I like I like your friends yeah, you like my friends it just makes sense like I mean roommates let me help you out the bills so yeah I plan on moving back in a couple of years. Yeah, that's great. We got a lot of good adventures down uh, down here. And a lot more than wanted to go uh, Yeah, when it uh, you know, when it gets a little warmer. I mean it's already pretty warm, so I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it by that. Yeah, you know, I would like to go uh, get the boots on and go creek wading again. It's a lot Me of fun. Too. Well, you haven't done that since I was on there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that, I've done that in a while, you know. It was cool. I remember bringing the dogs in the creek and walking them in the creek, and they they loved it. They had a lot of fun. I remember Harlan, he would uh, he would high step, you know, he would, like, take, like, a, you know, big steps, like, all the way up, you know. But uh, but I think he got, like, used to it. He liked it. <laughs> yeah, he, he was really funny. You know, I found a whole ass phone in the creek. I was like, I fucking what? broke the phone and just threw it away. <laughs> really? I was, really yeah. but I was just a dumb kid back then. I didn't understand, you know, all the materials that are found in the phone that are valuable, but it's, uh, I still find me, it. I think I, uh, me, the area I threw it in. Me and you, I feel like we need to go for a scuba diving license as we like the water so much. We just gotta go find shit, man. Like, just go, go for an adventure. Go see where we can go. Yeah, Mike. I, oh, well, I'm saying, yeah, we gotta find shit. We gotta go to the old abandoned railroad tracks and go check them out. You know, I wasn't. You know what? I, you know what happened? I was uh, biking. I was biking by the college. I went by one of those like whatever little power stations behind the railroad tracks. I just had to find a place where like no one would see me uh, take a fat piss and then when I was done peeing I was just like tucking my dick back into my shorts and then I fucking tripped and uh, 
I, I tripped over a copper grounding rod and I took it back. Uh, well, I took it to the other Mike's place. Uh, I couldn't put it in my backpack. It was way too heavy. I had to call him up to put it in his trunk to take it back and like get yeah, extra stuff. Um. Well, and it looks like we got to go to that up in. Do you know the area of this? Was it in Bucks County or? Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's I think there's a big thing of tracks. It's uh, down by one of the parks. That's uh. Do you know the uh, area? Like Bucks County, Hamilton, Lane, still going sound like. Do you know the area where? Do, do you know like the place of it? So we, yeah, I'm we sorry. I gotta there. ask. Uh, I gotta ask my one friend from college, uh, Will. I don't want to get it confused with the other will, but it's like, yeah, it's like a different will. He was talking about the old abandoned railroad tracks the other day with the, uh, you know, with all like the scrap and all that stuff and like some cool like cave nearby. I don't know if he said it was by Ring Rock or by uh, Hawk Mountain or some shit. I mean, honestly, just way too fucking out of it to really, you know, process anything. So I tried, damn it. Well, then it looks like me and you got an adventure to go to because I'm, I'm thinking about. <clears throat> I'm still going to talk to John Lane if I have to take that, but uh, I'm trying to figure out when I should go. But I'm thinking about, like, instead of my birthday, I think it's coming down for the weekend of that week. So, like, the 20th or the 27th. And. We both gonna celebrate our birthdays on the same day, and, like do something wild. Nice. Yeah, we definitely have to go adventuring, find some old abandoned thing, and uh, you know maybe uh, explore around the area. Find something cool. And like I said, I'm planning on moving down in the year three. My birthday's in the morning. Huh? My birthday's in the morning. In the morning. Oh. You chat with what you saying? You cutting out? I'm my mom. Uh, no, that's nothing. I just gotta remember something in the morning. Um. What's going on, guys? Chad, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You can see me, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm enjoying the uh, conversation that you guys are having. I'm just listening in. It sounds like you both uh, know Pennsylvania, and you like if you're coming back, that's what's up. Uh, yeah, man, I've been to Jake. The one place that he brought up was Hawk Mountain. I've been there, and that's a fantastic place. I've been hiking there, and there's like some crazy trails man there's one trail there that just goes it's just like a straight up it's like it's like climb it's like you're basically almost rock climbing i come from like a bit of a rock climbing background i like to climb myself and uh yeah it's pretty much like a rock climb it's a tough hike and you gotta be you gotta have some water with you you gotta be prepared you might need to bring some snacks with you and uh it's a good time it's hawk mountain's a good place it's like 10 bucks 15 bucks to get in there for the day if they're uh during the season and i've heard that some people they see hawks there i'm supposed to, like you're supposed to see hawks there i've never seen a hawk there or any type of like cool bird american eagle or anything like that uh have you guys both been have you been to hawk mountain yourself hey, Matt? Yeah, chadwick. Yeah. yeah chadwick 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 well hmm. i gotta tell you i saw a fucking bald eagle an american bald eagle in the fucking trail right across the street from my house that's what's up. I want to see. That's what I like to see is a bald eagle. I've seen one in the past year. Me and my buddy, he's a bird photographer. He brought me to a park and he showed me where one was supposed to be and it ended up being there. It's like he knew it was going to be there and it was there. But to see one randomly like you did, that's great. So, uh, yeah. yeah, that was fucking sick. And I don't know. It was just kind of there for a moment. I was observing it, that it flew away. And I was like, you know what? Don't need to take a picture and show all these people. Like, I saw it. 
And I remember it. I still remember it. It was important. It felt like that kind of moment. It's like, I am it is. a real yeah. American. It's rare. It's it it's kind of rare to see a bald eagle around Pennsylvania. I feel like it's like a it's one of the more rare birds in the at least uh, yeah, like in my opinion. I don't know, I was thinking of something, but uh, I don't know. Lost it. Yeah, but that was badass. I really liked seeing that uh, bald eagle. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. Did you get a... So you did get a good photo of it, or...? Uh, you know what? I might have. Uh, if I did, it's uh, fucking old as shit, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think I did. I think I did. If I go look at like some old photo I sent like my mom or something, maybe, maybe not. I really don't know. You know what? I did take a picture of. Yeah, you know, I was uh, biking. I was in some parking lot, and there was a thing by the street. There was a a baby possum. You know, so I did. Uh, I did have to kind of chase it like away from the street, and then pick it up and put it in my backpack. Then take it to the the college I go to, which is a nature college, and they called the uh, the uh, what is it the uh, like the ASPCA to come over, like the local nature thing to come, uh, you know, take it to a thing and uh, shelter it. I'm like, that's good. I think it fell off the mom when she was uh, walking by there, like ran across the street. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, possums. Uh, possums are amazing. I think they're. Am I right? Is 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 that the animal? It's like the only. It's called like a marsupial. Is that like the only marsupial in the in the U.S. or something like that? Uh, might be, might be something There's else. Groundhogs that are super annoying that try to attack you once, but dog killed once. If I remember correctly, yeah, I got attacked by one when I was box hunting all of a sudden, like my dog is out of nowhere. Um, I hear Kessie's noise, like, I'm running back to grab a shovel, swack the face, and then my dog said, like, oh, I got you. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was, was like, ready to, like, use my reflex. He's like, oh, no, no, no. And then my dog comes in, and I'm like, don't have to use it. <laughs> but... That's that's the American Beck dog, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That's the American Beck dog. <laughs> it's a alpha, alpha, alpha Ooh. attitude dog right there. I like it. I'll never forget my old dogs. Uh, uh, both down on my laps, and mm. I will never forget them. Always will miss them. Well, I'm kind of over it. I don't cry about them anymore, and never really did. I just cried once, and that was it. They were great dogs. They were. I even played a couple of songs. So we never like trying to learn how to play guitar, and then yeah, they were all just like happy, happy, happy. Oh man, that's so, so long sense. ago. You never met dogs, Jake. Yeah, I do. That was so, so, so long ago. Uh, Missy died in my bedroom. Kelly died on my lap. My mom decided. My mom and dad decided to say, "All right, it's time for you for you to go." They hired somebody and gave her something. I was like, you know what? I was there for Missy. Kasia was a bitch during the whole thing when Missy died. I was like, if they're both gonna be together. I feel like they both kind of die on my lap to be together. So it's like, fuck it. They both got to die on my lap. And you know what's funny? I, I really didn't cry when Missy died because I was like, it's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. And then I didn't know what to do. So I kind of just like fell asleep. And my dad woke up. And or my mom 
found him. I remember waking up and my the dog was wasn't there in the morning. And they were just like, really, son? You, you didn't even try. I was like, I, 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 I tried catering. I, I, I didn't know what to do. Like, it was my fucking first step. Like, what do you expect me to fucking do? <laughs> like, I, I, and, and my... In my face, like, I, I think I hate a little fucking well. Like, I was a little weird at Giant the next day, but I was like, Jake. Okay. It, was, it was weird, but you just got to deal with shit. Like, you got to deal like, with the man. You, you're a man, you're a man. You know how to deal with shit. That's how it is, right, guys? Yeah, no, it's true. It's mm. true. I mean, the man thing to do when your dog dies, you gotta go and uh, you gotta go have a uh, have another dog, you know, like some kind of dog that needs rescuing. You gotta adopt them into the family, you know. Well, I mean, if you think they'll fit in the family, then you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Mhm. Mm and honestly. I would do the same thing over again for my current dog and excited for to the day I die. Like I would do that every time for every dog that I own. I would I would do it for them. And honestly I would just live with the ghost and also just deal with everything. Just that's just how I do with death, man. It, it's how it is. I never really cried. Oh, it my last dog, Kelly, because it was KJ's responsibility for her. But then he was like, ah, oh, fuck you. I was like, kiss my ass, bitch. That's really what I want to tell him. <laughs> but he's a pussy when it comes to death. Me, I, 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 I don't know what it is with me. I'm just a bigger man. I'm like my dad. He, he just knows how to handle death. He never, I never saw him cry. He knew something he cried, and frankly, there's even a lot of questions I want to ask him about that, and be like, Dad, how do you do it? Like, Dad, I don't know. Even, like, even growing up in middle school, like, we had a bunch of family deaths and shit like that happened, and I just sounded like a fucking real man, and I just, I right, there was one time, whenever he was gone, I, I did Big cry, big cry in front of my teacher, Mr. Engler, but he was like, I fucking get it, I fucking get it, blah, 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 blah. I can't remember exactly what I said or what he said, I remember I did cry my eyes out or whatever, but I never cried my eyes out in public, never once, never did. I, I just don't like crying in front of like a big crowd, you know? Never will. Are you asking kind of the same way? I don't know. So, I mean, like, I get what you're saying, you know? Like, I mean, think about it. Like, if you, if you don't, if you, uh, if you didn't die, you'd just be like some, you know, disgusting fucking, uh, husk, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be all, like, some ghoul. You just gotta... You know, like you die. I mean, everyone dies, you know, and like once all these injuries and shit happen to you, it's going to be like, man, like when the fuck am I going to die? You know, can't die soon enough. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? You know, it's, I mean, it's like, you know, everyone dies and everyone's going to see each other at the end of the, uh, at the end of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the light. So, you know, it happens. Right, right. Yeah, but I get it. I mean, it is sad. You know, you love your uh, dogs and family and all. And, you know, you don't want anything to happen to them. But that's, uh, I mean, what are should they going to do? I mean, what dog is going to live to be a thousand years old? Like, you know, fuck out of here. You know, just try no, to live I, a good I, life and be healthy. And, you know, and, uh, I hope everything goes good. I'm going to go into my life. There's some things that you just got to deal with. Some things you got to realize on who you are and who you're not. And yeah. Honestly, the best way I can 
put it. Yeah, it's really hard to say about that conversation. It's it depends on your personality and mine it don't really do with that shit and it's a part surprise I'm there for them but got much shorter, blah blah blah. This never been a real man crying. It's not me, I, I wish I was, but there's been times where I <clears throat> Alright, let's not talk about that one. Anyways, um, I'm sure you guys probably do the same thing about crying and not and talk more about it. You, want to, you guys want to keep talking about that or should we just close the hell out? Nah, nah, I mean, what the fuck else can you say about that anyway? Yeah, I don't know if I can add much to the crying <laughs> that I want to add much. I've cried. I, mean, I don't know anybody that's not cried. We all cried. <laughs> Who's who? Who here has not cried? Raise your hand. Nobody's raising their hand. So uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's uh, it's just part of life. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. Shit all happens. So it's like what y'all said. We all cry at some fucking point in our lives. Should I shut us out, or you guys want to keep talking? I don't know what what's the uh, what's a good conversation you think? Uh... Eh. Think uh... I don't know. I'm not really thinking about too much. I'm just kind of just uh, relaxing. Trying to as close as all that, so we can all go do our own thing, play our games, and. That was hilarious. That part was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I never get that so time when you were, you came on the bus for like never use lotion to jerk off. It's I think if it stings or something like that, you're like oh, yeah. I never use it. <laughs> I did. I did use that for that, and it was bad. <laughs> did not go over well. That was the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> God, that was funny though. That was funny. But you know what? You live and learn. You live and learn. I really got to think it. Oh. it. To uh, adult world, Jake. I went in there one time when he when he bought the pawn that I screwed up on. And I said say pawn instead of something else. Mike, and Mike, Mike. Me and, me and the other Mike. Me and the other Mike were literally just talking about that. Like fucking like Mike Mac fucking going in there and being like, oh, yeah, I would like to purchase the pawn, please. I was like, Mike, I want you to say glass. We told you like five fucking times to say glass. It's, it's like, yeah, we all forget, we all say that, but we're like, boy, do you have to do that? I know, Mike's like still like fucking, you know, coping, like coming back from the hangover or whatever, and it's just like, yeah, give me that one plus, like, motherfucker. And now it's so funny. We were talking about that with the, uh, yeah, with fucking, uh, the Will and, like, Abby from college. We were all hanging out. And, and she was like, what? They sell, like, a bike that it's all world of life. Like, <laughs> exactly what you think it is. Fucking smoke out of it and shove it up your fucking ass. <laughs> You know, when I come down there, you, you gotta bring me to your, your college friends, and I'll be like, what's that? And they'll be like, the dumbass on the phone. 
<laughs> Martin wants to fucking stab me like, shy first. Like, yeah, that's me. Oh fuck. But no, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta introduce your friends, there. Eh? Fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, they're all at the college. I'm sure. I'm sure they loved me because we were talking and we were like, yeah, so much, so many funny stories about hanging with Mike. And yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's definitely some, uh, some good stuff. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we gotta say next time. Is that uh, I think well, I think uh, I think the other Mike is saying like, yeah, he's coming over. Like, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good little birthday, uh, birthday bland. Looking forward to it. I went to college party. I buy a cake <clears throat> for my birthday. Did you contact oh, your yeah. friends? Like... Yeah, speaking of getting a cake. cake. Birthday, or we can do April. Let's see, my birthday's yeah. on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What if I want to come down on Saturday and be like, fuck it. I got to pay bitches. And then drive us on in the morning and we buy a nice bong and shit. And like, it's like smoke. It's like drunk as shit. You know I'm probably gonna fuck late, you know that. Yeah, well, it's definitely like, uh, get the ice out, you know, get at least clean out one of the ones that, uh, you know, one of our friends has. Uh, I think the birthday cake from the Warrington Bakery is gonna be tight. That's like a local bakery where the cake is really, really, really good. Like, cake, donuts, anything, I mean, we'll munch fucking mega hard. It's gonna be crazy, you know? Uh, you know. And just like a like a like a thing or two of beers, like nothing too crazy, but uh, enough to be like, yeah, like get a little sloshy, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's a birthday, it's all good, you know. But we could make it fancy and have some wine. Mike, did I send you that picture? I mean, I don't think they have it now, but they did have like some fucking like whatever, like ninety-four year old bottle of like some whiskey or like some whatever thing that was in like one of the thrift store things. I was. And I was like, honestly, part of me was like, oh, I'll get this from Mike. But then I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's some auction shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're telling me I got to, like, do some whatever online BS auction or some stuff? I'm like, bro, come on. Like, just, like, just begin, like, we're going to get, like, 240 down and just fucking walk out with it right now. Like, huh. but yeah, that shit was pretty dope. That was looking like some fucking potion. That was pretty sick. I'm gonna have to probably look online and see what they got. But, uh, man, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Definitely not some fucking shit like I picked up a fucking plastic bottle of Jack Daniels that someone threw by the side of the road. I saw that while I was walking my dogs. I picked it up and put it in the bag of shit I had. Oh, man. Okay, like, bro. Yeah, right. Like, like, bro. Gotcha, Jake. Yo, yeah, you wanna? Yeah, you, know, you wanna hear our shit that me and Tavik are gonna do once we have what was it, six fifty one and seven fifty one reviews, Chad? All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, let Chad wait. I'll let Chadwick explain everything. Uh, 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 yeah, we in American Mech, we got the podcast going, and I don't know that I want to do this. It's like I made, I made this pro, I made this promise, and you know, promises made, promises kept, kind of guy. And uh, so, if anybody. You know, <laughs> you, you, you made it happen. Bro. Yeah, so we So if uh, if our podcast on it has to be on an episode that I mentioned it on, so I'm mentioning it on this podcast here that we're doing. No, I say it's this one because our views they get most, and yeah, I looked at them. It should be me and the Jakeinator. It should be me, you, and the Jakeinator because we are the most most funniest ones in our chats. I'm so I can talk a lot more growing up with Jake. So if this, we used to do after minute school. 
if this podcast right here gets 751 likes, comments, or shares, I will sh- I will shave my head completely bald. Part two. We need the likes. We part, need the likes. Part Come two, on, guys. We it, know you have it in. <laughs> and I'll do it live. I'll do it live on video with uh, whoever's shaving my head or if it's whoever's doing it. And it might even, it might even be. Get a pair of glasses. It might even be you. Like Walter White. You know what, Jake? I might have to go to you to have you shave my hair if this happens, and you can do it on the live podcast. But uh, part right. part two, right. part two would be 651 likes. And this is where Mech comes in. But Mech, you're changing it up all the time. Mech is going to, at the very least, wear a wig. And probably, he mentioned last time, wearing a woman's dress and wearing some big fake titties. So I think that was, am I right? I forgot to forget if that was where you're at, something at that. Yes, you are right. I just think all that. And I already got a dress on a wig. uh, Hopefully this shit will actually happen. I I got a dress and I got all that shit. And... I'm going to find out where you buy fake titties at. But, yes, I, I, I will have... Are you usually just use, like, some balloons or something, you know? No, I want to buy fake titties because I like titties. Oh, okay. I like how you said that. <laughs> No, don't get no. We're not doing plastic surgery to Mech. Mech is good with the the no, fake. No, no, no. Yeah, the, the fake. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fake, yeah, just titties. some just some uh, throw on fake titties. Yeah, like, you know, like yeah. We're keeping mix. We're keeping Mech's dick on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> as far as I know. I yeah, as far as I know. Uh, yeah. I still want children. I want four kids. And yes, I want four kids. And the only reason why we said all this Woo! shit is so we get more views. And right. oh, I would make a fool out of my face. So. <laughs> I don't want you ever cutting your dick off. I dress, he said, Jake, cool, they on a pack has to be like, oh my uh. fucking god. Hopefully he has a camera by then, you Jake and Ader. Oh shit. Do I have a camera? Oh, he's live! live. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jake on the Pedal to the Metal podcast. You see it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it is just show. This, this, this is the moment. Oh yeah, now they're coming. Oh yeah, okay, now they're coming. Jake, you remember the time that you punched me in the fucking face that one time? I do remember that time. I know. I was real. I was real angry. It's true. It's true. It's true. I got to punch you in the fucking stomach for free because didn't I give you a black arm? Is that healed by now? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, but that biking got all kinds of other injuries and all kinds of shit. You know what? I was biking. I uh, I was biking by the college and. I, I slid on these wood chips when I was trying to get onto the asphalt, and I fell over. I fell head first over, and the part of my leg on my on my uh, on my thigh it squeezed. It squeezed, and the fucking uh... I'm all dead. Oh look, okay, so look, uh, my thigh muscle got squeezed between the bike frame and the fat under my thigh came out to the surface and like broke through the cut Oof. and the, the fat that was there stopped the cut from bleeding and I was like what? I, and at first I was like oh that's not so bad and I saw it was like the fat under my skin that came up all the way there I was like oh oh that's really that's not good you know and my parents were at work so I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just going to had a lot of traffic, but I was like, you know what? I just got a bucket to get home. Yeah, but it was good. It was good, uh, you know? I forget what had to happen. I think I had to go uh, go quick doctor, get the stitch up done. You know, that was uh, pleasant. Yeah. So, hey, I don't remember it, so it must have been good. Biker Jake. Nice. What's up? <laughs> Biker Jake showing his face and throwing in his biker talk. Oh man, that's this is like the hit. 
This is the hit of the podcast. This is getting cut out. This whole this whole minute when you popped on, that's getting cut out and thrown all over the place, all over the internet. When your face pops in, that was like the best part of the podcast, yeah. right there, Red. <laughs> I, uh, I think I went to the doctor and I, think I pushed the fat back under my skin and put a band-aid on. That's why I don't remember the doctor visit. So that was, you know. that was fun. You know, there was a, a time I was uh, biking down a real fast hill and you know, I saw my friend Mike and he was uh, slowing down on the bike. And I didn't want to slow down because I was going so fast. I was like, I could do this. I could do this. And then there was like a little bump in the... Uh, in like the uh, the road, uh, you know, and I, I hit it, and it just uh, totally fucked my tire up, and uh, it exploded. But thankfully, I didn't fall over and die immediately because I was going, I felt like like 81 miles per hour. Like, come on, and we're going back in time. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Ass fucking was so ass was so. But yeah, uh, I, 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 I get it, I get it, get it, get it, and we just got chill again. Yeah, I still got old snapshots where we smoked weed and shit like that. <laughs> like, I fucking just <laughs> chill with me, like, just like, I'll just steal shit I used to do, just like, fuck. Like, I really just want to fucking leave Florida and send it back, dude. Like, get the fuck out of here with my fucking car, man. Let's show you all the shit I fucking learned, and... Dude, I already know, like, a fucking good campfire song. And when I go down there, we go up camping, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you, man. I'm gonna make sure, like... I wanna try to find this, like, a mini something to... I don't know, many something to make uh, the ink work that might cause. It might have to be a mini generator. Something mini that's like super quiet. Are you talking but, about yeah. the guitar? Yeah. I gotta have yeah. uh, something. Oh, yeah, Mike's got a lot of cool stuff in his uh, in his thing. He's gotta show you a picture of his room. He's got a couple cool, like, little guitar things. Yeah, actually, a couple guitars, but like the cheaper one that he bought from his. Uh, from his buddy to uh, a couple other things. It's pretty cool. You know, even uh, my one friend Will from the college is coming over. He was playing a couple. He was playing pretty well. He was pretty he was playing pretty well on, the, on his uh, thing. Pretty good. The notes that I've been learning also for sort of playing with. Man, I wish I had my guitar with me right now, but my dad got me two pieces of instrumental. But yeah, I only wish I could just like play for you right now. Just do 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 do. I'm making my own fucking song right now, man. It's fucking cool. Nice. But yeah, it's fucking going pretty well. I was really trying to corny it and like sending it to you tomorrow. Nice. Oh um. I don't know. Do they close out? Do they keep talking? What? What's up? Because uh, me, well, Jay, have a bad week. About? You know, it's fun looking at all three of us. We could be related. You never know. <laughs> oh, you're not. Or like you know. from mothers. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, my mom was talking about the guy that donated sperm. Like, uh, fucking, uh, fathered like, a uh, like, had like a hundred kids. You know? Wait, what? It's... It's true, he donated sperm. He made like 40 grand in sperm. You know, I gotta talk to your mom about that. I wanna do that. I wanna have my. Like, see what my kids look like and it's like donate sperm. That'd be pretty badass. I'm not a joke with you, man. And also, you have to pay for donating sperm. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't know what they're looking for with the sperm. I don't know. I was thinking even me, they'd be like, oh, I don't know. 
He's got the seizure disorder. He he can't be uh he can't be sperm donor, you know. You never know. So maybe there was some kind of like sperm cleansing device or something, you know, gets rid of uh whatever genetic shit that's bad, you know, be like I don't know, but then you're getting too crazy, it's like I don't know. What else could be done with it? What else could be done? Some things just shouldn't exist for a reason. You know what you mean. Yeah, but uh Nah, I I think like like, perfect. Here's the thing, here's the thing, like, jumping on to what you say about that, you know, I was hanging with my friend, uh, you know, Mike, uh, his friends, and, and I was like, oh, this is cool, but then his friend was saying, like, oh, I got the, uh, cause he's, he's got his girlfriend, and he said, oh, I got, like, my, uh, you know, vasectomy, you know, which means that he can't, like, you know, he can't, like, have, uh, sperm that, uh, you know, that, you know, that, I mean, I think you can still have sex, but you just can't have, like, the sperm, like impregnate and it's like oh like i know he was really happy about that and he's like yeah it's great you know it's fun it's it's good times and i'm like look that's and i was like oh i didn't say anything but i was just like i was just sitting there like you know it's like hey you know i'm glad that he's happy but at the same time i was like you know you know he's a cool dude it'd be nice to uh it'd be nice if he had kids you know and it's kind of uh it's a little upsetting so Oh, but, Jay, uh, how can you, you never do that kind of thing? Because I know the way you think. I know you like to crack the knocking. And I know you like to look at wee shit. I don't know what that shit is. I never dang mentioned me what that can or what it is. But, uh, why don't you do that and actually, like, try donating it? And hell, you probably could tell. What I jerk off to, I really don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, true. I know. But the thing is, I wouldn't want to do it in none, none of these fucking rooms at the jerk off place. I'd be like, look, I gotta go home. Yeah, I gotta go home, and I gotta just like go to the fucking uh, the fucking crank bank, you know, the crank spank bank, and just fucking uh, you know, come exactly. back, with, like, fucking, come back with like a fucking like milk <laughs> milk jug fucking full of it, like here you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, but like, yeah, but it's true. Bro, don't we make another second halftime show to make it so we talk about like what we'd do if we had this many fucking children and that way we like think like, oh, I pranked it all right. I got like 400 kids, they want to buy sperm. <laughs> they call me up when I'm like 60 years old. Oh yeah, these are my kids. Holy fuck, that's my kid. <laughs> that would be pretty badass. Do, do, really do we make a second time halftime show saying fuck it? Do you want to do another, another uh, music sesh? Chad? I'll do another music session if y'all want to do another. Keep it going. This will be the longest podcast ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Look at y'all. Right? <laughs> more content. Oh, more content we get. I, I like to. Right. I'm missing it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go smoke a cig real quick and oh. then I'll put my headset on. But... I like to cut out like well, my, my, my favorite. Doing uh, this, I actually do want to donate. Sperm and uh, okay. I can actually have a lot of kids because my dick yeah. still work, bitch. I'll be uh, I'll be cutting out some of my fit. Some. Like no, yeah, you were on a movie. You're in the movie. Okay, you turn your camera off. I gotta see a minute. Right. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, you're you're in the movie, Mac. We're making go. we're making movies here. That's what we're doing. You we're part of the movie. We're, this is all a show here, man. You're oh. so. Uh, what kind of character are you gonna be? All right.
We were, I thought we were doing a halftime show. I thought we were doing we are. music. We are. We are. We are going to do a halftime show. I'm, I'm just uh, trolling on you for I'll a minute. I'll play your music, man. <laughs> I'll play your music. I don't want to be trolling. I don't want All to be right. trolling. I've been saving this. Sh- yeah, we're like an hour yeah, in. Sick. We're like an hour into this podcast. I'll take a shot with you. Yeah. Man. I've been waiting to take this shot the whole time. Till the, I was going to wait till the end of this podcast, but it's pretty much... I think this is halftime for me, at least. Mm. Yeah. It's just saying it once they sure about the door in place. I am only doing that, and I'm going to ask his, his mom. I mean, like, where do I go? Yeah, that whole thing with the uh, is uh. Fuck you, because there's only two of us, two of us next left, because then I can be like, fucking I did this. But alright, I'm gonna go smoke. Uh, yeah, I think I think. I don't want many people to be like, oh yeah. I don't know how I. I don't know how I feel about this and t- and talking about this. If I were a woman, it's like, it's like, if I were a woman, there's like so many different, like, uh, yeah, like if I were, if I was, if I would, it's like, I might want to know where that sperm came from and who it came from. It's like my one, like, I, if I, if I had, like, if it was like something that I, it was like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. And the fact to know yeah. that I would have this, this, and that, it would just be yeah. fucking dope to know, like. Who, where, and I actually eventually meet him. I don't understand. I don't understand the situation of why. Stay in the conversation. Go do your halftime show, and I gotta think about this bit more. But yeah, I I I was gonna say to leave it off on to leave it us off on. Okay. I want to do it. I want. I want to do it. Go do, donate. Chase got a back. Right. Chase, tell him off. Tell him to go do his. Uh, as, soon, as soon as you step up, I'm going to do music as uh, DJ Chu. Yeah, there it is. Yes. There we go. Let's Always. start this up. Yep, that's good. That's, go do his music. I'm gonna do that's a, that was a good exit. I like that. <laughs> yes, sir. I need it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Chilwick. Welcome to the Sperm Donating Podcast, the Pedal to the Metal Podcast. Hope you're all enjoying this evening. Get mm, something good here. When I have too many things going on at a time with the sounds, gotta keep it more basic. It shuts off.
Hey, Jake. the best change. Welcome back, ladies to the gentlemen to the pedal to the metal podcast with Chadwick, American Mech, and two black screens below. Whatever that means. Is there a fourth podcasters on with us now? What's going on here? Uh, it's just the two of us. You never know. Maybe he's got a ghost in this room. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he's just in the dark, and there's just his two. It's just he's got the the phone, so it's half. That's what it is. I see it. Ah, we there see you there. Is, there, there is. Is the truth. He has his motherfucker. I'm in the I'm in the street. 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 I'm in the I got a couple right next to me, actually, of those. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of you guys. You and I got two, man. When I got out of Florida, me, I mean, to Pennsylvania, me and you and Jake, I will give another fucking gun, unless you got to find an actual like, place to go to. But, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Okay. So, what are we or, talking about? I'd say we actually instead of that, instead of nerf gun. All right. Yes, I agree. We should go nerf gunning. Yes, I agree. We should go nerf gunning and go shoot the shit out of each other. Who lasts as long as what's the first longest lasts is who uh go go through it, but. Y'all ever been paintballing or no? I was actually just about to mention that. Okay. Um, uh, well, I found a couple of copper tubes. I assume we should know, fret about the copper tube lightsaber battle. Fuck that. No, 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 mate. We're doing paintball, man. We don't paintball. I'd like to go with both of you. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I'd like to put that on our schedule We're at some point. <laughs> Can we're, we, we're, we're, gonna pull up we're definitely going out exploring, exploring, you know? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, we are. We, we are going exploring. Yeah. After what you said, yes, sir. We are going exploring. Yes, sir. I want to yeah. find a check that can be found. And we gotta yes, find and yes. And some cool I, shit, you know? Like, it'll be dope as fuck once we bring it back. Okay, Mike, your fucking thing just went all like... <laughs> yeah. It actually, it might have been you, Jake. Uh, I think that was actually you. Really? I think you you were good, Mac, but Jake, you actually were what was making that cause. I don't know if you're moving your phone around. It's like I think because you're you're like connected. I don't know what it is. It could be all three of us. It could be me. <laughs> what I saw. Okay, yeah. All I saw was that Jake, your whole screen froze up, and I heard that noise that you were talking about, and and. Mac, you were still coming in good, and you were still like looking good oh, no, on the screen. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. No, it's Jake, when I come yeah. down. We, <laughs> can you hear me correctly? Can you hear me good? Yeah. All right. Well, what we are gonna do is I'm gonna bring my paintball gun down, and I'm gonna 
to have you. I want to have Shadwick. I want to have Mike Banner. I want to have whoever you can find that actually wants to play play it with. But let's see, one, two, three. That's a four-man team there. So a four-man squad. Me, you, and Jake. So I gotta, I gotta say, save enough money to get my paintball gun fix, uh, or like fix it up on airplane. But no, I, I actually had to like bring all my paintball stuff and go at it. And yeah, I should get my paintball gun fixed at the nearest place. It was just like the CO2 shit, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, I should get my gun fixed. You got a paintball gun by chance? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm out of love with guns. As even before all the seizure shit, I'm way too, uh... I don't know, I just got some, uh, just got some problems. Jake, uh, me and your friends, we got you watching over you. Would you be down to go paintball gunning with you? Oh, yeah, paintball gunning is good, yeah. Yeah, just the 44 you know, Magnum, you know. Well, you're going to buy that yourself. Uh, plan on saving up. How, how much does gun cost, I think, nowadays? Like, do not buy those mechanical guns. Do not buy those mechanical guns. I know they cost good money, and they're fucking annoying. No, buy the first, like, guns that, like, shh. Like the one hand, like double screws. Those are so fucking good, but I will fucking hate you if you buy a mechanical fucking gun, man. I will fucking hate you for buying mechanical guns. Fuck you. I hate those. I know what you're talking about. A lot of them look ugly as shit. And they all look the fucking same. It's like, oh, there's this gun show with the guns, plus whatever. And it's like, it all looks like fucking ass. You know? I mean, some of them are cool. Some of them are just like the tactical, you know? It's just like the fake bullshit. Like, the fuck out of here with that. You get me a real gas. It's like they got to ban real guns, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what you mean? I can't go buy like a nice rough in AK-47 full auto, you know? It's fucking sick. I mean, I'm not saying I'm bringing that shit around with me every day, but I'm just saying, like, just in case, like, some crazy shit go down, you know? Gotta have some nice things, some AR-15 kind of whatever shit, you know? I mean, you never know. Well, you're not fucking big shit, really. the fucking skies. You never know. All right, Chadwick, are you fucking down to go paintball when I'm fucking down to PA for my birthday? Yeah, that's yeah, that's actually, that'd be a lot of fun. Shit, you know? It's a lot of, I, I used to paintball a lot, and uh, I've been like, I started off with the Tipman 98 Custom, which is like the most common, like, pretty common gun, that was the first thing I had, and then uh, I was a garage selling, and I picked up a nice, uh, like an AR-15 style paintball gun that had like two triggers, in it, and you could shoot that thing, it was going, brruh, 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 brruh. it was popping out, but I sold that gun too, so I don't actually own a paintball gun at the moment, but. I've played with the top-notch guns, and I've got shot by every type of gun, a paintball gun that there is that exists. And um, there's even, like, some cool things when it comes to paintball that you can buy. It's, like, grenades that have, like, smoke grenades, and you can uh, you can throw smoke grenades, and the smoke comes out. And uh, it's a fun sport. Yeah. It's a good sport. All right, Dennis. I'm literally a fucking official... I am coming down the, uh, let me count out the days, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then 23. So the 23, I'm going to head, I'm going to schedule for a late night flight, probably. They're like, all right. So we home around 8 p.m. So I can still have fun with my friends. I want to, I want to try to schedule for a late night home, mm-hmm. and let let my parents or my cousins or somebody pick me up. 
and then yeah uh i think we're gonna have a lot of fucking fun my birthday chill with my buddy john go home to my buddy g i had to talk to my john you know john lane is right uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, got him on Snapchat. Want to see all these updating and fucking stories? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. But yeah, um, the Mesa Family Squad. Then plus Wayne at six. Yeah, fuck. me, two mics, Wayne, John. It'd be the fucking squad. We gotta get everyone together. Chadwick, everyone, I mean, anyone, everyone that can bike, you know? Just literally fucking everybody, like, just like, go hands down at it, just like, chilling. <laughs> well, we all gotta get super fucking blazed before we go in there and say, <laughs> fuck you. But we all gonna get gonna use a fucking air top box or the set of pins that we my buddy Wayne's got me. Don't say the last name, Jake, but yes. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Man. We are yeah, he's got me a pin already and we are gonna smoke and get high before we play pink ball and shit like that. So it's gonna be fucking dope. We are gonna chill, we're gonna do a with everything, man. Like, just. Yes. Absolutely, man. I love it. I love it. We are just gonna be chillaxing, man. I got my fucking pair of goggles upstairs and everything, you know? Like, gonna be fucking full on, just, you know, get it done. I don't think I'm gonna get fucking a single shot on anyone, but, you know, it's, uh,. You know, it'll be good to be the big fleshy uh, target, you know? So, <laughs> my dad told me he still oh. got my red paintball gun that was from my one cousin that I don't want to mention. But he still got it, and it's the most badass gun. It was just the annoying ring on it, so I got to save, like, a couple hundred dollars to, like, get it fixed or, like, all right, I thought you were just gonna just like, please, just do it, please. <laughs> okay, Mike, I get it, I get it. You got to go on. <laughs> no, no. This fucking thing is badass and red, and it's just like, it's the most coolest fucking gun you ever fucking seen. I still say it's cooler than my brother's gun, and. Fuck his gun, just like. I want to kick her ass. Alright, okay, not your ass. We're going to say it to you, my bad. But it's positive. We're going to fucking like. I'm at like, I don't know, like 20 some percent battery, you know? Alright, uh. I guess we'll end it, unless you got another conversation, Chadwick. Oh no, I do. I do. Oh. What's your conversation, Jake and Ader? Somebody say uh, talk to you. Oh uh, yeah, I was just saying like about that fucking uh I'm just saying, you know, play a lot of uh you know play a lot of uh, what is it, first person shooter games, so Counter Strike. Like get yeah, get marked a lot in Counter Strike. You know, it's really hard to get those kills in Counter Strike because you know I just don't play enough to uh to get the uh, a lot of those kills. But I told you about that shit, like the grudge match between these uh these guys, and it was like, weren't you in the squad, Mike? Wasn't that game like since like twenty twelve or ten? Like ah uh, shit. No, but Mike, Mike, I was just saying, because, like, I think... I don't, I don't know, know if you were in there, but, like... Still play it. Yeah, remember, like, there was that whole fucking squad 
and like it was like the last match it was like the second to last match of the whole thing and i ended up winning it for the team by getting the self diffuse didn't even have a diffuse kit or use the uh smoke yes just, yes just hid um, behind just hid behind a fucking door the guy like opened the door and was like what oh i guess no one's here and he closed it <laughs> and like fucking won Oh man, and the one kid's like screaming, and then his mom's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Yes, yes. That was the best match ever in any video game ever. I think I stopped playing Counter Strike as much after that because I was just like, "You can't beat that. You know, you can't beat that." You know, a lot of other good games coming out, and like, you know, I mean, and that was really the perfect game. Like, just. To the perfect game. Fucking snuck in through the vent to defuse that bomb. I was just sitting in the vent and then just hopped over the fence and uh, defused it. Fucking, I'm taking my time out right there since they're smoking right here. I'm gonna go smoke some weed. So, I, I feel like I need to talk a little bit here. Yeah. Just like chill with you and whatnot. Uh, actually, shall I talk about your some of your smoke stories. I really <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just thinking about smoking smoking weed. I see Jake over there puffing on uh something. It might be tobacco, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who knows? But I assume we can all assume what it is. Looking at the guy, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So just having some water. Yeah, he's just sm just bubbling some water over there. But uh, yeah, man, I smoked. I smoked. I might have uh, smoked some of that green the other day, like a week ago. I haven't like I literally this year. Last year, I smoked every day, all day. It was my like life. It was like like a year ago, like a year ago today. I smoked like every day, all day, every day. Tomorrow, I wake up, smoke all day, smoke. It's like. This year, I barely smoked any weed. I was like, I smoked the other week, and that was like my first time in months. And like, and then I'm like, before that, it was like months ago that I had smoked, and I smoked one time, and it was like months before that that I had smoked. It's just because like, uh, I, I uh, just uh, just like I had, I had my like I smoked the best of the best. I smoked the top quality that exists there's nothing better than what i smoked uh i've you know i smoked i smoked more than jake i've smoked more than jake and mike combined jake and mech combined in my lifetime i've outsmoked smoked them both and they're still catching up to me so at this point i can just kind of take a little break and they're still like they're still got a hop every day to cap catch up to where how much i've smoked in my lifetime but uh smoking weed it's uh yeah I'm gonna smoke some more sometime soon. I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen, sometime soon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I like this. I like the sativa over the indica. How, yeah, it's good for. Uh, if I if I am the smoking, I get the if I get the option, I always choose sativa. Usually, I mean, depend most most of the time, just because I like to be awake and it helps me like concentrate and if i'm doing a podcast it's like i can talk more when i'm smoking some sativa whatever uh i mean if you look back at me and mech during our first podcast like i was always high for the first like <laughs> for the first uh s sessions that we ever did together i was pretty much always high uh for the first i don't know but it's been a while i just don't i don't like my pee is clean right now if i take a pee in a cup i'm peeing clean if you guys need to buy some pee i got you for no i'm kidding it ain't for sale but uh yeah my piss is clean at the moment i'm just like i'm doing the wrong I stuff though drink. <laughs> i'm drinking this i'm doing this zin here which is not as good it's not a good uh alternative but it's not okay it's bro, not bro. Bro. me, so me and the other mic we were talking and we were like, bro, those fucking, like, fucking Zen packs can't happen. You know, I found, like, some full-ass Zen packs that some guy threw in the trail across the street from my house. Like, a bunch of empty ones, too. I got a couple thorns, like, stuck in my arm trying to pull them out of some fucking bush. I don't know why these people do this shit, bro. I mean, you know, I mean, the Zen, like, I remember finding a pack of it. It was completely full. I opened it up, and I was like, 
you know, I was like thinking like, oh, is this like some nicotine gum or some shit? Oh, like that's kind of interesting. And then I open it up and I'm like, what is this weird ass drug looking package shit? Like this shit is sus as fuck. Well, I don't know about if you found if you found it on the street. If you found it on the street, it might be something a little different than uh, the actual. Well, what it is though is it's just pure okay, nicotine. Well, what was it? It, it's just, it literally is uh it's just i mean it looked like a little tea bag is that what it is yeah it's a little like white tea bag i'm actually out i would pull one out but i actually don't have any at the moment but it's just like a little white tea bag with pure uh nicotine in it so it's just straight up uh nicotine you know it's not it's not like you're smoking the bad carcinogens it's supposed to be healthier and i believe it is healthier than smoking cigarettes it's a good alternative uh, to cigarettes and also, uh, you know, it's definitely over over cigarettes if you're going to be nicotine. Like, is questionable. Uh, is it bad for you by itself? I don't know if that if it is or not. I don't think it is. Like the worst. It's like coffee. Is coffee bad for you? Uh, I like coffee too. I'm a coffee drinker. And is that bad for me? Uh, I don't know if it is. It seems like. I mean. Okay, but. Yeah. And it's okay. more healthy yeah. than fucking uh, monsters, uh, dude. Yeah, monst- well, monsters. Monsters. Hold on, let me talk. Hold on, let me talk. <laughs> Chase, you remember the fucking days where I fucking used to, like, chug oh. monsters, like, fucking during high school? I mean, middle school, actually. Middle school, like, we would, like, go around my fucking neighborhood and we'd just, like, pick a walk and see fucking want to, because we didn't really look like our parents and whatnot. Like, we didn't give a shit. Like, yeah, whatever, we're, we're just going for a while. And say the shit now, we want to shit talk. And we were just like, fucking, I want a monster. Go, 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 go. And I, I would watch a full alphabet or something like that after I showed the whole fucking thing. You remember yeah. that? Yeah, of course, of course. And then we would also like fucking go to penis pizza, just like chill, hang out. John saw me the uh stole penis pizza because of some tragedy that happened and I don't think we should say it online. Unless you know what happened. Honestly, bro, I got no idea. I'm just totally zonked out right now. But <laughs> I get you. Um, yeah. That bowl got me fucking. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I remember. <laughs> Oh, the, the good high feeling. It hits you for, for like 10 minutes after you take a hit. Yeah. So let's give uh, Jake a minute here yeah, and like no, relax. Right. And uh, Mac, what are you? Oh, okay, now Mac's hitting it. I'm going to be the only one talking. I guess they talk the whole podcast. Now I'll just start talking about shit. <laughs> and they'll just see it like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so weed is good stuff though it's like it's not bad it's like it should be legalized and it should be available with everybody who's over the age of 21 or whatever for whatever reason why not 21's a good number i'm over 20 i'm over 21 so i'm happy with that number but if i was if i was 18 i'd be like you know what it should be 18 <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. 25. yeah it's uh we should be able to go to the stores and get it. Uh, if you go, it's a, it's legal. So where me and Jake at, we're in Pennsylvania. It's like it's. I think it's legal in Delaware now. It's it's, a big fat fit. it's uh it's definitely legal in New Jersey, and um. No, it's raining out back. You know, got the little gazebo thing. You know? uh, it's, think of all your I I got my I got these. I think about that. Huh? I I can't even hear it raining. Good. My headset's on. I got like a. I got my headset keeps me from hearing what's going on, like because it has like soundproofness to it. So I can't even tell it's raining. <laughs> uh, I have to take off my headset, and I'll be like, "Oh, yeah, dang!" Like, like, like uh, drip puddles. Getting the uh, I'm getting the sound out kind of thing. 
I think Mech Mech probably gets more rain than any of us being in Florida. It seems I, from what I heard, Florida it rains like every like few hours or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know. No, actually, it's been dry as fall. So okay. Man. It'll make it rain like once a week or every two weeks, like one day a week, and that's fucking it right now. I don't know. Maybe it's fucking dry season or something. I don't fucking know. Well, you're probably you're probably in short sleeve shirt right now at the very least. The Halloween street hanging with uh, with you guys. Good times. You know, you just like showing up the sun right now, Jake. <laughs> no, yeah. Just finished the bowl. Finish the water, feeling uh, feeling good. It's and like your mom home right now. You guys thinking? If they if this He's was at home with you right now. <laughs> I, if this was Star Wars, I would I would be on the side of the light, and you guys would be the two darkness the darkness side. You the two of you, <laughs> you'd be like Darth. Yeah, uh, I would, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, here is an actual topic that you guys would like to discuss. Wait on me. What is your opinions on cross dressers versus trainees? One, the trainees that got turned into a woman and that like likes to keep their bulls, but yet you also got a man that likes to dress up as a woman and also has, also has fake tits, so... Okay, well, yeah, you know what, Mike? Let's talk about that. I'll talk about guys. Jake, uh, uh, Jake is gone. Uh, <laughs> hey, help. Can I really get rid of that question? Or I think I think he was just uh, like outside and it's raining and it caused him to uh, get shut down for a minute there. Uh, um, so I think he'll uh, probably. Help. Uh, I think he'll probably he can just rejoin because that's what I did uh, earlier. He should be able to just rejoin. Um, hopefully, but, uh, just give him a minute, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hopefully, then it can, do you want to, really want to be part of that conversation with you. Yeah, it's, I think he was, I think he was ready to leave a comment on it. Do you want to just keep going with this till he gets back in and speak your thoughts on what you were saying there, I guess? Honestly, my opinion, it's kind of like. Don't like do what you want to do, like keep on like being a girl, but it's kind of like you know, like if you find that kind of dude that kind of hates that kind of fucking shit, then like you, you just gotta deal with that shit. Like, honestly, even me, you can still be a straight fucking male and still fucking do what you want to fucking do, and yeah, even if it comes to like friends and shit like that, like, yeah. Uh, man, I wish my mask bad worked right now. Can you text Jake? Um, I mean, I'm on, I I got my whole thing set up because I'm doing the recording here, so it's like, if you can get him, if you can send him a, a, you're on Discord still, if you can send him one, unless you want to just close it out here, I mean, uh, we could also do that if you want. Let me uh, see if I can. Yeah, um, are you still there, Mech, or now? Can, can, you, can you still hear me? All right, this is what we'll do: is I'm gonna do a DJ set. Well, while Mech tries to get Jake back on, we'll I'll give us another DJ set here for the minute, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're enjoying our podcast. Uh, DJ Chillwick. 
pop it in with some uh, spice for y'all on this late Saturday evening in January 2024. It's the last weekend of the year, or of the of the month that is. Here we go. <laughs> How's it going over there, Mac? All right, yeah, we already did like two or three hours of this podcast, and I think we added like a lot of good stuff in there. So, yeah, I mean, that's a uh, let's close this one out on a good on a good note. We had a good time, and everybody had a good had fun. So let's go. Uh, you want to give us a close out? Yeah, I guess we'll give us a close out. I mean, you know how we just like to all do y'all. We like to still hang out. Uh, like, do what we always like to do. Is so chill, relax, and walk around and do what we usually do. And just, I was being all, and you all know my buddy Jay. He's cool as fuck. He's, uh, <laughs> Those guys, you know, meet and then we have to go chat with his authors. It's fucking cool. Um, I just want to make a praise real quick. It's just cool with y'all. Y'all have a great fucking wonderful, right? wonderful life of your year and just like make sure it's the best life for your fucking year. Do what you want to do. Make sure you want to do what you want to do. And also, don't let people tell you what you want them to do. Oh, God. Tell them what you think you should do. And don't get pushed around. Fuck bullies, man. Just mm-hmm. fuck them. If you got a bully, man, you gotta push them back to say fuck them. Just straight up, amen, say fuck bullies, fuck people, fuck. and. God bless America and God bless all what America. has happened in the United States right now. So, amen. I need to close my eyes mm-hmm. and uh, just amen. 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 Just God bless America.